Good morning, Mullica Township. Thanks for tipping in to the Friday edition of the Mullica Morning Howl. Before we get to the news, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Grade 4 is collecting new bath towels, washcloths, twin sheets, and pillowcases throughout the month of April. We will be donating to the Covenant House in Atlantic City to show our support for the homelessness in Atlanta County. Please consider donating to our cause. Thank you in advance for your support. Now let's turn it to Cullen and Raymond's Super Science segment to learn about a new discovery on Pluto. What could it mean? Good morning, Malika Township. Welcome to Super Science with Cullen Fesser and Raymond Hackney. On this episode, we will talk about Pluto's bite mark recently discovered by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft. Astronomers think that this area of Pluto is going through a phase change, like melting ice. Except this time, the ice is made of methane and is sublimating, which means it's turning directly from a solid to a gas. Due to this, the area is surrounded by cliffs made of methane. This area, and others like it on Pluto, give astronomers clues that somehow, Pluto is still geologically active. This means as a molten core like Earth. If you really want to stretch this, Pluto as a planet could potentially support life. However, Pluto's average surface temperature of negative 380 degrees Fahrenheit makes living here all but impossible. On top of surface temperature, dwarf planets like Pluto usually don't support their molten core for long. So they eventually turn into sad, lonely, cold rocks. Poor Pluto. <laughs> Okay, buddy. <laughs> Anywho, this has been Super Science, and thank you for joining us. Great job, Cullen and Raymond. Tonight, Cedar Creek is hosting its Spring Dance Showcase in the pack from 6.30 to 8.30. You don't want to miss it. What is Pennies for Puppies? Mulligan Township is sponsoring Yukon, a seeing eye dog. All of the money we raise will go towards Yukon's needs. Bring in your pennies for Yukon. Pennies for Puppies, April 5th through 12th. This Saturday at Cedar Creek, there is a princess tea party for all pre-K through 5th grade students. If you would like to attend, there are many activities such as coloring, arts and crafts, singing, beauty stations, and more. Tickets start at $15 per child and $5 for each adult. As you know, last Friday was April Fools. Here is the Mullica Morning House, Danica Moran, who fooled a few people herself. Hi, I'm Danica, and I'm here with Stephen. We have some questions for him about April Fools. So, if you could prank one person, and who would it be, and what would you do to them? It would be Mr. Hartman. Yeah. yeah. I would probably, um, hmm. I would probably tape his door shut. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Hartman. You gotta do what you gotta do. Hi, I'm Danica, and we're gonna pull the sneeze prank with this little square bottle on people, and it's gonna be really cool. Awesome. Okay, make a funny Activity, intolerance, and injustice are big problems in the world, especially for those with disabilities. The Special Olympics movement is tackling these issues every day around the world, using sports as the catalyst to make these changes. To assist in making change, Special Olympics is looking 
to young people around the world to be leaders to make change in their schools and communities. That's us! Special Olympics has a unified strategy to bring people with and without disabilities together. But because when people connect, hearts and minds are open and misunderstandings and negative attitudes disappear. We bring people together through sports, music, dancing, and other activities. We are implementing this strategy in schools and communities worldwide, creating youth leaders, a unified generation who will create a world of respect and inclusion for people with disabilities. April is Autism Awareness Month. As playing unified leaders, we are not only aware of students with disabilities, but are accepting of the students with disabilities. Some students with autism spectrum disorder can graduate high school and may go to college and live on their own. May, many will always need some kind of help. But all will have brighter futures when they have the support and understanding of their families, doctors, teachers, therapists, and friends. Be, be sure, sure to, to be, be a, a friend. friend. <laughs> Pledge to be accepting of students with ASD. <laughs> Pledge to be accepting of all students with different disabilities. Next week during the student lunches, there will be a Play Unified banner hanging that says Judge Free Zoom. If you pledge to be a part of the Judge Free Zoom, you are promising that you are part of accepting all students regardless of their different abilities. Please pledge, sign your name, and receive a bracelet and take this seriously. We expect you to accept everyone. Just no one. And play unified. Hey Malika, it's Austin here with sports. The start of the MLB season has begun and the Phillies have started off with three losses to the Reds. They play the Mets today at 110. Though they are a better team than last year, they are only predicted to beat five out of the 30 teams in the MLB. In soccer news, the Liga BBVAs Barcelona and Real Madrid faced and lost a hard-fought game 2-1. to one. But Barcelona can still keep their heads up because they are above all in rankings by at least 6 points. Just remember, Real fans, last time Barca won 4-1. to one. As soon as track starts here at Molica, we will have more local news for you. But for now, that's all, Molica. Hey guys, Riley here reporting your weekend weather. Today, there will be a high of 52 degrees and a low of 36 degrees Fahrenheit. There will be a 10% chance of precipitation, with humidity at 40% and winds 22 miles per hour. On Saturday, it will be a bit chillier, with a high of 43 and a low of 27 degrees Fahrenheit. There will be a 70% chance of precipitation and possible snow throughout the day. There will be wind speeds at 20 miles per hour and 64% precipitation. Finally, to wrap up the weekend, we have a high of 48 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 36 once again. There will be a 0% chance of precipitation and winds up to 14 miles per hour and humidity of 37%. That's all coyotes for this weekend. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in to the Malika Morning Howl. Have a great weekend, coyotes.